Well, welcome everybody. How's everybody doing? Let's, it's, I know it's early, but we're going to try that again. How is everybody doing? Exactly. This is a big day. This is a big day. Uh, welcome, everyone. My name is Brian Kenner. I'm the Deputy Mayor for Planning and Economic Development in Washington, D.C. Uh, and I am very proud and happy to be here at Walter Reed Army Medical Center uh, to talk about the grand opening of the D.C. International School. How do people feel about the D.C. International School? Awesome projects like this would obviously not occur without lots of people uh, being a part of that. So there are lots of thank yous uh, to go around. First is obviously to our mayor, who also uh, has a long and, and storied history with both this campus as well as with D.C. International School. So Mayor Muriel Bowser, thank you for all the things that you do. We also have the, uh, what I like to call one of the hardest working council members actually out there, uh, council member Brandon Todd, who is here as well. Thank you, council member Todd, for all your work on this. We have lots of folks from the deputy mayor's team who've been working literally for years uh, on this project. Uh, we have uh, Randall Clark, Sarosh Opadwala, uh, Malika, uh, many people from DEMPED's general counsel staff, Susan Longstreet, Jen Castor, our outside counsel, Kutek Rock, as well, who have been uh, really, really uh, uh, integral in making sure that this project uh, happens. We want to thank them. We also have the Walter Reed uh, Advisory Committee, who I have probably been involved with in many ways for, for many years, and I know they've put in lots of, lots of time and effort uh, to make sure that not only this project that we're talking about today, but really everything else that's going to happen on this campus happens with the community's involvement and input and also making sure that the benefits go to not only this community, but the communities that are adjacent uh, to Walter Reed. We have, uh, obviously, because this is a school, we have the Deputy Mayor for Education here, Jenny Niles. Thank you very much, Jenny, for all your work on DCI. Uh, we also have the development team uh, for the Walter Reed Army Medical Center, Heinz, Urban Atlantic, and Trident. And I see some of those folks here, so thank you all very much for uh, working on that. And most importantly, we have the people affiliated, both uh, students and faculty from DCI and LAM schools. Let's hear it for you all, right? As, uh, as some people know, uh, I have been, uh, in one way or another, uh, working on this project uh, in, from the city's perspective since 2009. Uh, but interestingly, uh, interestingly enough, I used to work for another company that started to do a project here back in 2002. And so for literally the last 15 years, I have been uh, not only knowing the Walter Reed campus, but have been involved in some of the things that have, uh, that have gone on here. And it is really just so heartwarming to be able to be here when there's actually now private uses on this campus, and most importantly, kids. There are people and kids who are actually being able to utilize uh, this campus, which is a very unique uh, situation. And we're so happy that this is the first step of what's going to be many steps here uh, at Walter Reed. Um, this project, as I mentioned, is really just the first step of many. There's going to be lots of other things that are going to be happening, not just with the school, but around the school. Uh, in the fall of this year, as an example, there's going to be the demolition of the 2.7 million square foot hospital that will occur, which will make way for a new town center and grocer that will be there. How do people feel about that? Actually having the ability to shop on this campus. Uh, coming up, there's going to be two groundbreakings uh, for some housing, uh, important su uh, permanent supportive housing and affordable housing uh, for two projects that will happen on this campus, as well as the opening of the new state-of-the-art engine company 22 at Georgia and Butternut Street. Next year, 2018, there's going to be lots of groundbreakings. Uh, groundbreaking for 40 units of permanent supportive housing, groundbreaking for the first new construction market rate building, including 370 rental and condo units, as well as 20,000 square feet of retail. And we will have continued progress and news from our neighbors around what's going to happen with the Department of State's campus, as well as the Children's National Medical Center, uh, who's thinking about a public health complex here on the Walter Reed campus as well. So lots of things still to come. Uh, as it relates to uh, Walter Reed. 
Um, with that, uh, I have the opportunity to really introduce somebody very special, I think, to most people who are involved with DCI School, uh, who is Mary Schaffner, who I know has been a tireless advocate, tireless advocate to ensure that this school not only opened, but opened on time, uh, because that was a big one, uh, but somebody who very much represents, uh, I think, the spirit of education and the spirit and force that is DCI and Lamb School. So I want to ask Mary to come on up here and say a few words. Good morning. Good morning. The DCI staff, board of directors, and students are excited to share our school with you today. At DCI, each of our 800 students studies either French, Chinese, or Spanish, and you'll hear that later, and each receives the world-class international baccalaureate education. We are honored to be the first occupants of the redeveloped Walter Reed campus and to continue the legacy and service of, the legacy of service and education here at Delano Hall. I want to thank our families who have worked tirelessly to get us here over the past nine years. They attended community meetings, council days, and even executed a week-long social media campaign to inspire the Army to deliver Delano Hall last September. Without it, we may not be standing here today. I want to thank our um, development team, Building Hope, MCN B Build, PEDC, and B&D, who got us into this building in record time and met our budget. And Bank of America, LISC, the Reinvestment Fund, and now City First Bank for financing this project and taking a risk on us. Our member schools, Stokes, Lamb, Yu Ying, DC Bilingual, and Mundo Verde, the whole, the, uh, their leadership and their whole schools work together to make this DCI dream a reality for all our students. The Public Charter School Board, FOCUS, the charter organization, um, they've all provided, and many other charter organizations have provided us with unwavering support through this process. And finally, I want to thank our amazing city agencies, the Deputy Mayor for Planning and Economic Development. I think I've been in that office a hundred times. The Deputy Mayor of Education and the whole team, and of course the, uh, uh, the Office of the State Superintendent of Education. They provided financing, support, the whole deal. Council Member Todd, of course, and the whole council. And then Mayor Bowser, who has led the effort to redevelop Walter Reed for the city. We are so grateful for your efforts since your time as council member to support this project in DCI. While the majority of our students um, come from Ward 1, that's 32%, our racially and economically diverse community hails from all eight wards. We believe, that, we believe that offering IB for all, not just those who opt in or test in, benefits all students, from high achievers to those who need extra support. We are one of just a few public programs in the United States that offers IB for all. And as our park scores this last year demonstrate, where our at-risk students gained 21% last year, DCI's model helps all students succeed. <laughs> and as we grow to 1,500 students and graduate our first class in 2020, this bright state-of-the-art facility will enable us to deliver DCI's 21st century education. And most importantly, it will inspire our students to discover and follow their dreams. As any one of the, Del the DCI dra Dragons in blue shirts will tell you, we are thrilled to be home at Delano Hall. Actually, did you want to introduce a student, actually? Thank you. Um, I will then also um, introduce Diane Cotman, who has been working with me, my partner in crime, uh, since the beginning of this endeavor, and has luckily entered into um, staying with us here at the Walter Reed campus on the East Wing, and she's honestly a much better speaker than me, so I'm going to hand it over. I I'm not sure about that, but let me give it my, my best. Um, I'm lucky in that Mary has already thanked most of you um, in a way that comes from the heart. And let me just say that, I mean, I, can, I don't know if you can feel my heart beating, but it's really doing a rat-a-tat-tat. -tat. Um, here on this campus, I feel my father, who is a World War II veteran, I feel the work and commitment of just hundreds of people who had a dream and decided 
Let's go for it. I'm not scared. What, what's no? No, today is the possibility of a maybe tomorrow, and then yes, the following day. So to each and every one of you, and I see really here some Ward 4 residents who have been on the front line since the very beginning. So can we also give them an incredible... Yes. Lamb is enjoying the space that we're in. We have 10 classrooms here. We call it the, the Annex. And they are children who are elementary, first through fifth grade. Lamb is a tier one school, and it is the only accredited dual language Montessori immersion school in the District of Columbia and one of a few nationwide. What we hope is that all of the work that was needed in order to get us here is what will continue to happen in order to sustain quality public education in the District of Columbia. Thank you. Now, both at Diane's and my students are going to um, welcome you from LAM and DCI. And first, I'm going to have Luz. Mi nombre es Luz. Estoy en cuarto grado en el Latin American Montessori Bilingual Public Charter School. Y quiero darles la bienvenida a la alcaldesa Muriel Bowser y a todos a la inauguración de nuestras escuelas DCI y LAM. De parte de todos los estudiantes, quiero dar las gracias por hacer esto posible y que todos tengamos un año escolar exitoso. Uh, bienvenidos a DCI. Bienvenido a DCI. Uh, that was Isabella Ramos Braco and Rafael Tabila Chavez. And now we're going to have Mamona introduce the mayor, Mamona Hadish. Thank you, Mayor Bowser, for your leadership in Walter Reed development. DCI students, thank you and welcome you to DCI. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you. Ni hao. Ni hao. Me llamo Muriel Bowser, alcaldesa de Washington, D.C. Welcome to DCI and Lamb Public Charter School. It's so, so wonderful uh, to always be in my home ward in Ward 4 and to be with my council member, Brandon Todd. Let's give Brandon a big round of applause. Uh, and it is really a pleasure to be here with uh, Diane Cotman and with Mary Schaffner, who are fierce uh, women uh, who lead children to excellence. Uh, and I just want to thank them so much for their dedication to DCI and to the Lamb Public Charter School. Uh, my conversations with Diane go back many years uh, to the Military Road School and, uh, and how much Lamb has meant to so many families in Washington, D.C. I can recall talking about DCI and how DCI was just wandering around the city looking for a home. Uh, and aren't we glad that now you have found your permanent home here at Walter Reed. And let's we forget that schools are kind of about buildings, but the buildings uh, happen to be the least important part. Uh, what's most important are the educators, the adults who care about children, the families who uh, have accepted the highest challenge uh, in enrolling uh, their children in these schools, and the young people themselves. Uh, and we know that the commitment at DCI and at LAM is real, and that the achievement of the students 
students shows it. So I want to thank and congratulate our kids on their hard work and on achieving. Let's hear it for the young people. So I won't, I won't go into a, uh, all of the long history of our involvement here at Walter Reed. Uh, you heard some of it from Deputy Mayor Kenner's office, who is responsible uh, for leading the city's efforts in transforming this 66 acres. What I love and what I will say about the development process is that it was fully embraced by neighbors. Uh, you heard about the Walter Reed Advisory Committee, and I want to thank them, too, because many people for a lot of years have participated in it, the Brightwood community, the Shepherd Park community, the Tacoma community has embraced this process. Uh, that's how and why we had almost almost unanimous community support. You had two ANCs, I think, that did provide unanimous support, and you had the Council of the District of Columbia even provide unanimous support for this project. And so that's how you know uh, that a project is working. What I'm most thrilled by is that our very first groundbreaking uh, is for kids. I am most thrilled by that. And people are noticing. People who have no involvement with DCI and LAM have told me, oh my goodness, it's so good to see life at Walter Reed. It's so good to see people coming and going, kids getting off of the bus, getting onto the bus, people walking, and it's just a taste of what is to come. This beautiful hall, uh, and I want to thank everybody involved in its transformation. I know MCN Bill was involved. Uh, to see and be able to preserve a site like this. Uh, is important, and we are able to do that uh, here. Uh, I didn't know about the history. Give yourself a round of applause, Rudy. I didn't um, know about the, the woman this building was named for, and I was happy to learn it in, in getting prepared for today. Uh, and this is a, a very good lesson for young people, because when you go around our city and others, there are fewer buildings and monuments and street names to women. Uh, but you will be going to a school uh, in a every day in a building named for Jane Delano. Uh, and Jane Delano was the second superintendent of the United States Army Nurse Corps. Uh, and she was very responsible for recruiting nurses during the First World War. And this building is named in her honor. Uh, and it's special to me because my mom was a nurse. And I hope that we're training some nurses here at DCI and LAM too, um, because we need uh, women and men to go into nursing to continue to help us have a uh, excellent health care system. So to all of the young people who are going to come to the, through these doors now and in the future, I want to say congratulations to everyone involved. Now, when the larger, you heard the deputy mayor already talk about this, when the larger project is completed over many, many years to come, we're going to be able to produce 5,000 jobs for DC residents. We're going to be able to produce 2,100 units of housing, the full spectrum of housing, uh, from people who need a second chance, to apartments, to senior housing, and also um, single family housing, the opportunities for people to be first time home buyers. That, this project has it all. And so I am just uh, happy to be here with all our pu public education friends, and I think Scott Pearson is also here, who is the executive director of the Public Charter School Board. Thank you, Scott. And to our development partners, uh, Vicki Davis, I saw from Urban Atlantic, and uh, they are our development partners for the parks at Walter Reed. So young people, keep achieving, keep shining, and keep being a fantastic example uh, for public, public education here in Washington, D.C. Thank you very much. Thank you, Mayor, very much. Uh, I'd like to welcome up our Deputy Mayor for Education, Jenny Niles, to say a few words. Good morning. 
I have to start with a personal note. As somebody who also got to start a school and have a groundbreaking, I feel the pitter pat um, with you and where's Mary? Um, because I, I just want to congratulate everyone on getting to have such a fantastically beautiful home. All of the power in your brains and your hearts are going to go into this building and come back, hopefully to DC, which is where we, were, we, we, where we will need you. Um, Thank you, Mayor Bowser, Deputy Mayor Kenner, and the DCI and LAM community. As Deputy Mayor for Education, I could not be happier that kids, as Mayor Bowser said, are the first tenants of the redevelopment of Walter Reed. It's an exciting day when two of our schools, serving more than 1,000 young people, um, have a permanent home, and they're two of our highest performing schools in the city. I can't think of a better place for you to enjoy your education as on this campus and with, for Washington. Today's ribbon cutting represents a citywide commitment to education. Every agency in the district government is committed to supporting our students, and many got a chance to demonstrate that with this project. Um, our partnership with, um, with Deputy Mayor Kenner um, to secure this home is a perfect example of that. We've made historic investments in education and in public schools. In particular, in charter schools, we increased the facilities allotment by 2.2% to make sure that our charter schools can have beautiful places like this. Our tentative agreement with the Washington Teachers Union would result in, when council passes it, very soon we hope, um, in $92.6 million coming through to charter schools, as well as over $100 million going to D.C. public schools. And we continue to invest in partnerships that, in collaboration across DCPS and um, public charter schools. And our investments are working. Last year, we had the greatest number of charter schools ranked Tier 1 by our public charter school board ever, and that is both a testament to our schools and students and families and to the great work of the public charter school board itself, which is known across the country as being the best in the business. And I'm proud that two of our highest performing schools, DCI and LAM, will be able to serve even more students here at Walter Reed. At LAM, our first fifth and through fifth grade students study both English and Spanish, as you've heard, and have access to a Montessori cu curriculum. And then at DCI, we have the language tracks continue along with being International Baccalaureate. Um, these are the kinds of programs that we want to make sure that all of our parents in Washington, D.C. have access to for their kids. I'm so proud of the unique opportunities for every part of the city and for here at Walter Reed. As this space grows and changes over the years, I can't wait to keep coming back and seeing all of the great work that you are doing um, as schools and students. So congratulations. Thank you, Jenny. I'd like to welcome up now uh, Ward 4 Councilmember Brandon Todd. Thank you, Deputy Mayor. Good morning, everyone. Uh, first, I want to start by thanking you, Mayor Bowser, and your entire administration, because had it not been for your and their diligence, we would not be standing here today. So let's give Mayor Mario Bowser and the Bowser administration a big round of applause. Also would like to extend thanks to the Walter Reed Advisory Committee, the Public Charter School Board, uh, to DCI and LAM leadership. Thank you for leading uh, the future of the District of Columbia and the world, quite frankly. Um, I'm really delighted to be here on behalf of the 82,000 residents of Ward 4 uh, to officially cut the ribbon on the Walter Reed site's first occupants, the DC International School and the Latin American Montessori Bilingual public charter schools. These two schools, renowned for their innovative curriculum and expert faculty and staff, are the newest addition to World Force, Ward 4's collection of world-class schools. Let's hear it for world-class schools in Ward 4. Today represents the culmination of years of work and collaboration on many fronts, and yet it is also just the very beginning of a new history that we will all forge together right here at Walter Reed. With DCI and LAM, we are bringing the world to Ward 4 and to our students. In a globalizing world where sharper skills are needed to compete, this global education will serve our youth and our city very well. 
as that continues to grow, prosper, and attract new business opportunities. That's why the work that I do down at the council is so important. As you may know, this week the council reconvened after summer recess and we held our first legislative meeting on Tuesday where I introduced two bills that would positively impact the bottom lines of DCI and Lamb families. First, the universal Free Lunch for All Amendment Act of 2017 will provide free lunches for all students in D.C. public schools, D.C. public charter schools, and participating private schools. With a focus on healthy and nutritious meals, this legislation will bring the district into alignment with other major American cities that offer universal free lunch and end lunch shaming of students who can't afford lunch. Second, I introduced the Back to School Sales Tax Holiday Amendment Act of 2017. It will reinstate a sales tax holiday for certain items such as school supplies, clothing, and personal computers. It will stop DCI and Lamb families from having to travel to Maryland or Virginia to take advantage of their sales tax holidays and keep dollars right here in the District of Columbia. So DCI and Lamb, yes, that deserves a round. So DCI and Lamb families, Ward 4 could not be more thrilled to welcome you. We are already starting to enjoy the benefits of your presence here. I am confident that we will continue successful partnerships for many, many years to come. Once again, congratulations and welcome to Ward 4 and Walter Reed. Thank you, Councilmember Todd. I'd like to bring up a representative of the development uh, group responsible for the development on the campus, Vicki Davis from Urban Atlantic. Good morning. I, I can't tell you what a pleasure and how excited I am to be here today to help you celebrate and to see all the young faces here. Um, I want to to start off by introducing you to a team of people who really work day to day to make this happen. And in the crowd, you have a a lot of them here. Uh, Chuck Waters, our principal with Heinz, and Katie Wyasek with Heinz. Raise your hands. Um, Michael Jones with Trident, uh, and then an entire team. people who work day in and day out on on helping to coordinate for the school include Mary Thomas, who's been working on the infrastructure and getting things like water for the school and heating and cooling, um, and Pat Mullins and Caroline Kenny. Um, Very, very importantly, you have a great parent here who's actually been really pushing this school along, and it's Randall Clark. And he's been prodding and poking us to make sure that things got done on time. And he's over there. And working with him, Malika Abernathy. And I cannot even begin to tell you about the passion that we have seen from Mary Schaffner and Diane Cotman. Mary has been with this all the way. She's learned a lot about heating and cooling and water um, and access and parking and things that that people in schools typically don't learn a lot about. Um, But if it weren't for her passion and their passion, this would never have come to be. So I want to tell you a little bit about me. I actually grew up in a bilingual school and my mother spoke four languages fluently. Very intimidating. I talked to kids this morning over here who walk and ride their bikes to school. That is incredible. But they're going to go from doing that to being the next best citizens of Washington, D.C. And you are going to go to being something that's even better than that, which is through your language skills, you will go to being citizens of the world. And you will be ambassadors for this city. And you will be leaders. And this is the place that can help make that happen. And so we're very, very excited to have you here as part of our community. And it's a great community that you're in. And this is a terrific beginning. So thank you very much. With that, I think we're actually going to start to cut a ribbon here.
I said I was going to count them. <laughs>